seems like we've seen a pattern over the last few years of young, talented wide receivers getting in trouble behind the wheel of a car. And that's exactly what happened in the case of Rasheed Rice. A few days ago, news broke that there was a big six-car accident in Texas and that they suspected Rasheed Rice had something to do with it. The problem was... Him and everybody else, all of his buddies that were involved in that accident after they were racing a Corvette and a Lamborghini, they just took off. They left. They bounced from the scene of the crime. They didn't stop to call anybody. They didn't check and make sure anyone was okay. They didn't exchange information. They just bounced from the scene of the crime. Well, finally, Rasheed Rice did respond and acknowledge that it was him. He apologized, takes full responsibility, while his lawyer tries to paint him as some sort of victim and goes on attack against the media. Rasheed Rice car accident. Chiefs wide receiver takes full responsibility for Dallas crash. NFL is monitoring the situation. Well, the situation, despite Rasheed Rice's lawyer, despite him going after everybody, say, don't judge him based off this, blah, blah, blah. Looks like he might be in a little bit more trouble because this news just broke a few hours ago. Breaking, 10.8 grams of marijuana was found in the Lamborghini Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice was driving, which is a state jail felony amount in Texas per the Dallas police. Now, certainly depending on who it is, you may or may not give two shits about 10 grams of marijuana on somebody. Whether the NFL cares about that or not is certainly going to be interesting, but clearly the state of Texas does care about that. Now, I am a little skeptical as to whether, you know, 10 grams, which is you know, far less than an ounce, is actually a felony in Texas. Maybe that's misreported. However, you know, it's not a felony. It, it probably is likely punishable by jail time for Rasheed Rice. So we'll, we'll have to see, regardless of whether it is a felony or is not. So it looks like all these things just continue to get worse. And I really wanted to go and point out what his lawyer said. Royce, uh, what is his name? Royce West, a member of the Texas Senate, said Rice was driving the Lamborghini involved in the wreck. West asked the media, why don't you do a story of who he is as opposed to what occurred? Because it seems as though what you're saying is based off this one incident. You're going to define him based on this incident as opposed to his entire body of work. I would say to each and every one of you, if all of us had to be defined by one incident, that would be ridiculous as opposed to our entire body. So I ask you as the media, look at his entire body of work before saying exactly who he is. That will be better. I don't think too many people are, are making statements about Rasheed Rice's entire fucking life. What they're talking about is this specific incident. This is a very irresponsible fucking thing to do, but drag racing his Lamborghini and a Corvette across populated highways in Dallas and then leaving the scene of the accident after all that occurred. And now we find out that he also had a felony amount of marijuana in his possession at the time. Now, it's good that he's you know making statements and ready to take full responsibility. They do expect charges to be filed. All that stuff is good, but... Obviously, a big problem for Rasheed Rice and the Kansas City Chiefs, depending on how far this actually ends up going, as his lawyer attacks the media and says, why don't you talk about who he is instead of what he did? What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.